Africa magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles Showroom in West Hollywood. And I'm here with Scarlett Marino with Hello. her movie. Hello. Dolores. Let's play Kuda Kuda Clip. It was really wondrous, and thank you for sharing it with me, filmmaker. Thank you, LA. thank you for having me. Oh, of course. Uh, for those that haven't seen it, tell us a, a brief synopsis of your film. Well, Dolores is about a Mexican American girl who's basically grappling with the expectations of her mother and her own identity mm. and cultural stereotypes. Yeah. So it's I, I you know you, you felt for her character and, and for her and her mother as, as soon as you you know as soon as you got into the film, which is amazing. Um, where did you come up with the inspiration for the story? So I was actually born and raised on the border of Mexico in Laredo, Texas. Mm -hmm. And where I'm from, um, like I said last night, it's basically 97% Hispanic or Latino population. Mm -hmm. And we all look different. You know, we come in all colors. Yeah, and yeah. we, you know, um, it's not strange for someone to speak Spanish or to have an accent. Everybody sort of has this little like tinge of a Mexican American accent. Yeah. Which I used to have, but yeah. I went to acting school and that kind of oh, disappeared. Oh, they do that to you. Yeah, they, they do. I was from Kansas. Look what they did to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, they kicked that right out of you. <laughs> um, so when I got to NYU, I would meet people and I had this big blonde hair and this, I had like a David Lee Roth haircut. It was kind of crazy. And, uh, <laughs> and this weird accent and they'd be like, what is that? Like they couldn't place it. And I was like, oh, it's uh, Mexican American. And yeah. they were like, what? And uh, I was really? like, uh, I'm Hispanic. Like, and I, you know, they'd be like, are you sure? Like, what? are you not, are you Swedish? I was like, no, oh no, pretty, pretty sure. You know, like, pretty sure. And um, there was always this question of like, you know, it's like not the nicest thing to ask someone like, what are you, right? Yeah, but yeah. like, I think we all sort of being American and mm. having this big melting pot, we all kind of, are confronted too, yeah. with that yeah right yeah. so it was about that sort of confrontation with my appearance not fitting what I actually identify with and yeah. who I am and you know who I actually really yeah. have always been right yeah, so of course, yeah. um and Laredo is very Hispanic like our culture is super Mexican I mean I can walk to Mexico so oh, it, I want to walk to Mexico <laughs> it was it was a really like crazy place to grow up right mm -hmm. and like the culture is amazing and it's mm -hmm. very Tex-Mex and it's all its own. And, you know, you go to restaurants and the waiters speak to you in Spanish, et cetera, et cetera. So, mm -hmm. so I always had that as a big part of my identity, being Hispanic. Yeah. And it's, it's later in life when I moved away, it was questioned, yeah. you know, and, and sort of uh, that's what inspired Dolores yeah. was that sort of like confrontation with that question. Yeah. So I think, I think it's really, beautiful and you can put a personal experience and then put that into the movement image and particularly actually a subject that you know probably many people identify with right. as well you mm -hmm. know and, and, and come into that conversation at some point in their growing up or their adulthood as well um what's it like i mean you literally you know you were, grew up around you know texas and mexico and blessed with that environment and then moving to new york as i did and got kicked at the backside by the yeah. new yorkers <laughs> yeah. and then moving to la and then having your film scrutiny film because la what is that whole journey like when your film is up there and being screened with an audience it's definitely amazing i mean so growing up laredo wasn't um the biggest city you know it was kind of a city a medium-sized city with a very at the time a pretty small town vibe right mm -hmm. so everybody knew everybody um there wasn't like a huge uh, community of people making art or films mm -hmm. at the time you know it's, lately it's gotten awesome there's mm -hmm. more and more art happening and more outlets for that but when I was in high school it was definitely like 
oh, you want to be an actor? Like, okay, yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, everyone's super supportive, but it's, it was definitely not a career path that a lot of people from my hometown mm -hmm. chose. There are definitely a few of us, um, some that are like on TV now, mm -hmm. and that's okay. amazing. Yeah. Um, but, but it was definitely something that was like, all right, this is going to be different and mm -hmm. not something that my parents knew how to do or my grandparents or, you know, any so you moved sort to of, New York and yeah. So I go to New York and from Laredo, Texas <laughs> with my yeah. weird accent and my big hair. And, um, I went to NYU and, and it was an amazing place to come of age, mm -hmm. to grow up. Oh yeah, because really, like I New York makes well. you grow up, right? Yeah, it it like pick up, keep kicks going. your ass, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah really. So if you're not, if you're yeah. not, yeah, right. If yeah. you're not like um, fully developed, yeah. at, at you know who yeah. is at seventeen, eighteen, uh, but it'll around. definitely get you get you started on it's that amazing. path. And then it's good to then come here. And so yeah, yeah. Your, what's it like? To so have then I came here, train? yeah, and I've lived here for about four years. Awesome. And I, I mean, I've loved it. I love Los Angeles. I love mm -hmm. the community of people that I've gotten to work with and mm -hmm. the, the art that I've been able to make with, with mm -hmm. my peers. And it's been really amazing. And seeing it on the screen last night was amazing and, amazing. and beautiful. And my um, uh, desire to make film comes from my desire to connect yeah. with people and to tell stories. I love storytelling. And yeah. I mean, that's why you become an actor. And yeah. Um, so I think that that part is really wonderful and, yeah. and hearing people's reactions to the film is really mm. cool and it's, great. it's just, yeah, it's what, been what's, great. What's next for you, Scarlett? Um, I'm actually working on my first feature. Wow. It's going to be like a 70s horror inspired film. Oh, I didn't film. see that one. Well. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Excellent. Um, I won't say too much. No, no. But no. yeah, I'm working on writing that and I'm also working on a short film with a friend of mine who's an amazing writer-director as well. Her name's Anna Kate Chappell. Um, and we're working on on a short right now too. We sort of want to keep uh, putting out work yeah. until you know, because the future is obviously a big, yeah, a big, big job. Yeah, so yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well, thank you for bringing Dolores to us. Thank we, we you. We thoroughly enjoyed it, and congratulations again. Thanks and, so um, much. We're, we're very much looking forward to seeing your future and, and many more of your projects. But we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.